Welcome to the January installment of our virtual C-Dub Classics, presented by Kaiser Permanente. C-Dub Classics provides monthly health and wellness activities to Santa Cruz County residents. Hi, my name is Jeremy Pilling, and I'm the owner of the Palomar Ballroom in Santa Cruz and in Scotts Valley. I've been teaching ballroom dancing and Latin dancing for 22 years, and I used to compete professionally. I did that for seven years. Um, today, I'm going to be teaching you some basic salsa steps that you can dance by yourself or that you can use with a partner eventually in the future. Uh, I'm going to be teaching the basic step, a side break, a right turn, and uh, those are just a couple of the steps we're going to be learning today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so make sure you, you have a little bit of room. You don't need too much. We're not going to be traveling a lot. And we're going to start by standing on the right foot. So all the weight is on the right foot. And we're going to step forward on our left foot. Replace the weight back to the right foot. And then take a small step back on the left foot, changing weight. Now we're going to go back on the right foot. Replace the weight to the left foot and a small step forward on the right foot. Let's try that again. So it's forward on the left. Replace the weight back to the right. Small step back on the left. Back on the right. Replace the weight to the left. Small step forward on the right. A little bit faster. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right left, right. Now every time we step, we want to make sure that we change weight completely. So meaning we don't want to just tap like this. Right? We want to actually fully transfer weight just like when you're walking uh, or running or marching or any of those kind of things. So we're going to go step on it completely, step on it completely, step on it, all the weight committed to that foot. All right, let's try that again. So making sure we're changing weight. And think of this as sort of like an island dance. You're always coming back sort of to the middle of the island. So we kind of step off. The water's too cold, so we kind of come back to the middle. Again, step off and come back. So I like to use this analogy to help with those people that want to move that front foot or that middle foot. So we keep the right foot there, change weight. We keep the left foot there, change weight. Left, right, left, and right, left right good now the counts for this or the timing that we're going to be using is quick quick slow all right quick will get one beat and the slow will get two beats because we have to take a little longer on that step so if we try that again with the weight on the right foot forward or the right foot we're going to step forward on the left this is going to go quick quick slow quick quick slow quick quick slow quick quick slow Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Excellent. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, how do I move my hips and all that kind of stuff? That's a little bit more in depth, but in general, you want to kind of keep the knees soft so you don't feel like you're stiff and locked, right? You want to make sure that the knees are soft. And eventually, that bending and straightening of the knees is what will cause sort of that lot and hip action. We also want to keep our arms up so they're not just hanging like this because then we look very stiff, right? So we want our arms to be up kind of like when you're walking or jogging. We use our arms for balance and um, that will also make you look better as well. So let's try that again. We're waiting is on the right foot. We step forward on the left, left, right, left, right, left, right. Letting the arms naturally swing and right, left, right. And the knee soft. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Excellent. So that's our basic step. And I'm teaching you today, starting with the left foot, which is usually what the leaders will be doing. The only difference is for the followers, you will be going back on the right foot first. So just to give you that idea, we're all going to practice it this way for now. We go forward on the left and back on the right. The leaders would start left forward. The followers, you would start right foot back. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. So I just wanted to let you know that we're going to be learning them all, starting with the left foot. But uh, the only difference is you would just start on the second half of that basic if you're following uh, with a partner. So let's do that again. And then we're going to move on and learn our Cuban break or our side break. Okay, so again, left foot is free. We're going to go forward. 
Left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Timing is quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Excellent. Okay. Also want to make sure that just as a quick little technique tip, you want to make sure you're not clumping onto a flat foot, right? So we kind of roll from the ball of the foot to the heel so that when we're doing this, if you watch me sideways here, I'm not going to be stomping or clumping my feet, right? So I'm rolling from the ball of the foot to the heel, right? Excellent. Okay. So with that said, let's now move on. We're going to do what's called a side break or a Cuban break. And now it's going to be going sideways instead of forward and back like we just did. All right. So we'll do the same thing. We're going to start with the left foot free. We're going to go side on the left. Now replace back to the right. And then the left foot will close to the right foot and we change weight. Now we're going to go to the right, side on the right, replace the weight to the left, and the right foot closes to the left foot. So very similar to the forward and back, but now we're moving it sideways. So again, left foot goes side, replace to the right, left foot closes to right foot. Right foot to the side, replace to the left, and right foot closes to the left foot. Now, let's do it a little bit faster with our timing. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Good. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Excellent. All right. So that's our side break, also called sometimes a Cuban break. So what I want to do is we're going to put those two steps together. We have our basic forward and back and then our side break. Uh, which is the one we just did, the Cuban break to this side. Um, so just watch first, or you can try it along with me, but we're going to do two basics forward and back, and then two to the side. So it would go one, forward there. Here's your second one. So forward and back is one full basic, that's two. Now we do side break together, side break together, side break together, and now we go back to the forward and back basic, forward and back, forward and back, and then again, side, 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 and side. Excellent. So if you didn't try that yet at home, let's try it now together. So we're going to again start with the left foot for now. We're going to do the forward and back basic first. So forward and back basic first, and then the side basic. Two of each, so everything's going to be in twos for now. So five, six, seven, eight. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. And to the side. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. And back to the forward basic. And quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and here we go to the side. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and back to the forward basic. And quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and to the side we go. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and back to the forward basic. Quick. Quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. All right, very good. So the other thing I want to mention, if you're doing this and you don't have a lot of room anyways, is it's a pretty compact dance, so we're not going to take giant steps. So remember that when you're dancing this, uh, the steps are pretty compact, right? It's a club dance, it's a Latin dance, and, and so we want to keep it small and compact. So make sure that you're not taking giant size steps like this. So this is why I see a lot of beginners is sort of this big step and this sort of lungy feeling. So what you want to think about is gliding, like if I were to just watch from the waist up, it should basically be pretty smooth, right? There's no bouncing, all right? It's very smooth. You can move your, your hips and your body, but you don't want to bounce up and down, right? So we want to try to keep it smooth as we go forward and back and as we go to the side. So with that in mind, let's try that one more time before we learn another step. Here we go. 
Again, starting with the left foot forward, the two basics first, and then the two side breaks. Thinking again about soft knees, keeping the arms up, making sure that we're not stomping, and then trying to stay at the same level. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, oh, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, oh, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and back to the forward base again. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and to the side. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and back to the forward basic. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. There you go. Very nice, everybody. Now, if you heard me counting in there, there are counts to the salsa. I was using quick, quick, slow to make it easy for everybody. Uh, but we're dancing on one, two, three, and we're holding on four, and then we're going five, six, seven, holding on eight. So that's how we would count it as a leader. We would go one, two, three, hold four, five, six, seven, hold eight. Oh, one, two, three, hold four, five, six, seven hold eight so quick quick slow is the same a quick gets one beat and the slow gets the two beats so don't get confused on that one we'll be using quick quick slow most of the time but if you're counting it one two three five six seven it's not that i can't count i'm just holding the four and the eight okay now let's go ahead and try learning another step which will be our right pivot turn all right, so we're gonna start again with the weight on the right foot. Now this one will be a little bit trickier. We're gonna step forward on the left. We're gonna do a half of a turn. Replace weight back to your right foot. So now you're on the right foot. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We're gonna turn a half of a turn to the right and then close the left foot to the right foot. Let's just try that again. So the weight's on the right foot. This is your pivot point. You're not going to pick up the right foot. We're going to go left, half a turn back to the right, half a turn on the ball to the right, and then change weight. The left foot closes to the right. Then we finish the second half of the basic, which is five, six, seven. All right, so let's try that again. Stepping forward on the left, we're going left, half a turn, replace to the right. Now you should be on the right foot, half a turn to the right, and close changing weight to the left foot finishing the basic for five, six, seven, or quick, quick, slow. All right, a little bit faster. I'm going left, right, left, and right, left, right. Left, right, turn left, and right, left, right. All right, so we wanna make sure that this right foot that's your pivot point. So I always like to tell people, imagine you have a nail in the, in the foot there. Of course, that would hurt, but just imagine you do, and you can't pick it up. You can only turn around it. So we're not gonna actually pick up that right foot when we turn. We're actually going to keep that right foot on the floor. So when you do this, that's your X marks the spot. The right foot, if you notice, does not move. I'm gonna turn all the way around. The only time it, it moves is when you take the last three steps. But on the turn itself to the right, we don't pick up the right foot, we go left, Replace to the right, turn, close and change weight to the left. Finishing it, five, six, seven. So let's try it together. We're on the right foot. Now take a very small step forward. Left, right, turn, left, back, right, left, right. And again, left, right, turn, left, and right, left, right. Good. Now when we do this, we want to think of turning our shoulders. So whenever we turn, we want to think of turning from the shoulders, not from the foot, right? So if you're doing this and swinging your leg around, that's something you don't want to do. That's going to throw you off balance. So we want to keep it underneath us. So that left foot will come in right here. As soon as you turn, you're going to think of squeezing your legs together and changing weight. And you're gonna think of turning the shoulders to the right. So think right shoulder back and all the way around. So if you're having trouble, your shoulders are what helps you with that turn, okay? Small steps, right foot stays, turning the shoulders 
and let's try it again. Weight is on the right foot. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and back. Five, six, seven. Let's try that again. If you're getting dizzy, you can take a break. <laughs> but remember, it gets easier the more you do it. So let's try that again. Standing on the right foot. That foot's not going to move. We go left, right, left, and finish right, left, right. Okay. So what I want to do, let's do one basic and then a turn, and then another basic forward and back, and then a turn. So we're just going to put a basic in the middle so you don't get dizzy, so we can practice. So basic, right turn, basic, right turn. Let me demonstrate first. So it will look like this. You'll have basic step, then you'll have your right turn, then you do another basic, then you'll have your right turn, and finish it like that. All right, so now it's your turn. Remember, we're gonna do basic, right turn, basic, and another right turn. Here we go. So starting with the left foot forward, we go left, right, left, right, left. Now here's the turn to the right. Left, right, turn, and back, right, left, right. Another basic, left, right, left, right left right and a turn left right left and back right left right so far so good i hope you guys are doing well having fun out there let's try that again just a little bit faster now remember i'm going to do it from the side don't take a giant step forward or you're going to have trouble with that turn so it's going to be right underneath me it's called a spot turn because really we're just turning on the spot right so my head doesn't really move much i don't want to travel forward on that turn let's try that again so basic right turn and a basic and a right turn five six here we go one two three five six seven turn to the right five six and basic one two three five six seven and turn to the right five six seven again basic one two three five six seven and turn to the right five six seven all right i won't make you do too much in a row you might get dizzy out there <laughs> so let's go back now and see if we can put all three of these moves together so we're going to do the basic the side break and then the right turn so all three of those will go back to back we'll do two basics two side breaks and then a basic and a turn and a basic and a turn okay so let's go slow and try it together Starting from the beginning again, we go forward on the left with two basic steps. Five, six, here we go. One, two, three, five, six, again. One, two, three, and to the side. One, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and now back to the basic. One, two, three, five, six, turn right. One, two, three, five, six. Another basic. One, two, three. Turn right again. One, two, three. And now we start over with our two basics. Basic step. Five, six, seven again. Quick, quick, slow. And now to the side. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Good. Quick, quick, slow. Now back to the basic forward. Quick, quick, slow. Now a right turn and quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, and basic. Quick, quick, slow. And now a right turn again. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Good. Anybody have any questions out there? If you do, I know you can't ask, but um, eventually you'll be able to hopefully meet me someday in person, and that will make it even more fun for you guys. All right. So. Let's just recap where we learned our basic step. That's this one here. I'll do it from the side. Quig, quig, slow. Quig, quig, slow. We did our side break. Quig, quig, slow. Quig, quig, slow. We did our right pivot turn. And again, that's all from the side, so you can kind of see what it looks like that way. Now, again, we did it as a, as a leader. That's going for, forward on the left foot. 
The only difference would be is if you did it as a follower, you do the same thing. Uh, you would just be going back on the right foot first. And so just so you can see that, I'll show you what it would look like starting on the back half first. It's the same steps. Everything's the same, but we just would start back on the right. So we would have back on one instead of forward on one. So we would have one, two, three, five, six, seven, or one, two, three, a five, six, and then side break. One, two, three, five, six, seven, a one, two, three, and then back to the basic, back on the right first as a follower. And now we're gonna turn on the second half here. We turn uh, around, we do our basic. That's right. Then we do our turn all the way around and finish it, all right? So if you notice, we're doing the same exact steps, both the leader and the follower. It's just the leaders will usually go forward on the left first and the followers would go back on the right. But you can practice the steps the way we did it, forward on the left, doesn't matter because you're going to be doing the same steps again, just a little bit different when you do it with a partner at the same time. So anyways, uh, hopefully you guys had a great time and hopefully you will continue to learn more dance moves. Um, thank you so much on behalf of the Santa Cruz Warriors and Kaiser Permanente for joining our C-Dub classics salsa class today and uh, we have activities the last monday of every month for more information about that you can visit santacruzbasketball.com backslash classics and for more information about the palomar ballroom my dance studio uh, you can visit our website at www.palomarballroom.com that's p-a-l-o-m-a-r ballroom.com and Right now, due to COVID, we are only offering uh, virtual private lessons and virtual group classes, uh, as well as outdoor private lessons. Uh, so you can check that out on the website as well. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, have parties and classes and everything in person again soon. So again, I hope you'll be able to join me sometime in the future, whether it's this way or in person. And everybody have a great, great evening. And thanks so much for joining us.